I'm Sean. Hello, I'm Bert. This is for story time. Uh, story time. And we're going to do a December TBR. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and a couple of the books we know we're definitely reading. Yes, so we're doing a few uh, like group reads. Mm. Yeah. So, Buddy reads. And then the rest are maybes. Yes. But should we mention those ones first? Yes. Okay. Do you want to go so, with the one, that one? Yeah. So we're reading Forney Hold. You've got this out, coming out of the library, is yeah, it? Yeah, it's on order. Is it? Oh, it's there, ready to pick up. Is it? Oh, cool, yeah. I'll get it today. <laughs> we're um, reading this with Sarah from Your True Shelf, who has possibly read it already. I think, think she said she'd read it before, like a, a while ago. Okay, and wants to reread. Yeah. Um, it just sounds like a perfect, um, a comfy December read. It's um, Mary Stewart. It's uh, set in a rambling house in the woods. I think it's a bit witchcrafty, maybe. Um, yeah. There's a cat. There's a cat. It's going to be adorable. I'm going to yeah. like that one. And the other one, which is also hoping is adorable, mm. um, is uh, The Dark is Rising by Susan Cooper. We're excited about this one. Yeah. yeah. So from kind of years of working in um, bookstores, mm. and for quite a while I was like a children's bookseller, yeah. this was one that was always on the shelf. Was that yeah. the same? Yeah, and I didn't realise it was 70s. I kind of thought it was like a 90s. Yeah. I thought it was more recent. It just, it didn't super appeal to me but it was mm. like when we had like in Otica's we had like core stock didn't we yeah. and it was it was core stock yeah probably like a b or a c they were a b c <laughs> weren't they yeah, a that. we had to have five face yeah. outs and then b would be two yeah. or one or two yeah. anyway i think this is probably a b or c yeah. <laughs> core stock yeah. and um yeah so i was kind of aware of it yeah never read it and in i kind of slightly feel it has welsh legs but i don't know if that's just I'm not possibly sure. wrong. I know nothing about no, it. No, but it's an American writer. Anyway, yeah. we're reading this as a, a read along. We're on like an, on Instagram. So yeah. Yeah. Hashtag the dark is read along. The dark is reading along. Reading, <laughs> reading along. Yeah. And, and set at Christmas time as yeah. well. That looks really good. So I just do this because yeah. this is the other one that I know I'm definitely reading, yeah. which is Autumn by Ellie Smith, and that's because it's for reading group. And reading group is in like about a week. Oh, not long. I, well, I like to keep it kind of a little bit. Yeah. Pressure. Yeah. Fresh. I like to keep. Yeah, I keep it. Want to do it really close to it, otherwise I yeah. forget. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna maybe start this this weekend. Yeah. Uh. So it's also cloak and dagger December. So I wanted to do my little nod to that. Um. With so first of all this one which I've mentioned already, which is Death Comes at Christmas by Gladys Mitchell. So that's got to be read this I month. I that's a definite. Yeah, it's definite. It? <laughs> That'll be good. And then I've dug out this one, which is Edge of Panic by Henry Kane. I've read one previous Henry Kane, and it was good. Um, this is, he woke up to find the blonde dead and the murder weapon in his own hand. You can see the dead blonde with, and he's got a hammer. Yeah, yeah so he gets drunk and he uh, wakes up, uh, I guess, with the dead body next to him. It's a classic, classic trope, which I enjoy. Mm. That sounds just so anxiety making. I know, I know, and they are as well, they're like, yeah. I read them. Uh, um, th these ones I've kind of hauled quite recently, but I think they'll be nice to Perfect. read now, which is Love by Hannah Ostervik. Um, and it's kind of a wintry one set in Norway. Um, so yeah, I think I should should read this one. She's got quite cool hair as well, hasn't she? Yeah, I talked, about, really short I talked about that in the other video, I think. She does look really cool. Mm. And she's written quite a few. That's the main reason we got it. Yeah, well, I kind of was interested, and then I did two pictures of her, and I thought, yes. Yes, definitely. <laughs> um, yeah, I recently got this Diana Athill novel, which has just been reissued on Granta. Um, I wasn't aware she'd written any novels, so this is um, a really good find. It's uh, based on Diana Athill's own experiences of 1950s London. Was she an editor London. then, or was she like... I... I'm not sure. If I think so, actually, yeah. I, cause, um uh, yeah, I think so. And then she's basically known for her journalism and Journal fiction. Right, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I, I've heard it being compared to Margaret Drabble. So I think I'm going to like it. And she did, I'm asking you, did she die kind of relatively recently? Yeah. 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 Okay. Don't really know much about her. Anyway, yeah, that looks good. Mm. Um, this one I've also mentioned recently, which is A Woman in the Polar Night by Christiane Ritter, which is the classic memoir of a year in the Arctic. I think Arctic you're really going to love that. Yeah. And I like this idea of, I find out about the Arctic Wilderness in the 30s. Yeah. There's something mm -hmm. kind of a little bit nostalgic y yeah. about it as well. I think it's going to be good. Um, so I've had this book for quite a few years actually. It's The Evenings by Gerard Reve or Reeve. It's a Dutch classic. 
um, apparently, and it's um, about 23-year-old Fritz, and it's set over the story of 10 evenings in Fritz's life at the end of December. As he drinks, smokes, sees friends, aimlessly wanders the gloomy city streets and tries to make sense of the minutes, hours and days that stretch before him. It's supposed to be darkly funny and mesmerising. It sounds really good. Your dad read it. Yeah, I bought it for my dad. Yeah. He loved it. Did he? Yeah. So I think it's from the 50s. Let's have a look. Uh, 1947 it came out. So apparently it's, yeah, it's a, known as a, a, like a masterpiece in lots of Europe, mm. but not over here yet. Um, so yeah, December. Um, in our last wrap up, I talked about the Christmas romance I read. So I had got another one out. Yes. Which maybe will be closer to Christmas. I think so, yeah. And this is A Wedding in December by Sarah Morgan. And it's kind of one of those ones where there's a big wedding going on. I think it's a sister's wedding. And then all the family, who are called the White family, all gather together. And I think it's one of those lots of different stories. And then who's she going to fall in love with? I mean, she, it's. it's is it the story? Is it like she's not going to marry the guy she's supposed to marry, or is um, it well, the person it's, it's, visiting? It's that... the it's the sister who, oh, who I okay. think it's from the point of view. So her older sister is getting married. Um, if uh, um, oh, okay. if only the irritatingly good-looking best man Jordan would stop interfering. Oh, Jordan. Yeah, I hope he's got a wintry surname as well. Yeah, but like Jordan Snow. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I... Jordan Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan's itself not a very good name. I think. No, so. but. Because they're usually their first name is something like quite wintry as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think they're not a good name in general. It's just no, be not a good name fine, for Christmas. But, uh, yeah, Nick. They, there's a yeah, Nick in there. Usually Nick. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got another Nightmare Hall to read, uh, which I've hauled before. This is um, Deadly Attraction. It's kind of, think Fatal Attraction, but YA set in a college campus. Um, so, yeah, point horror. Can't go wrong. Perfect winter read. Um, the, other, the last day I got are all children's books because okay. I think it's a nice time to read yeah. children's books. So one of them was a recent haul as well, which is um, The Way Past Winter by Kiran Millwood Hargrave. And I did read a couple of pages because I wasn't sure what to read um, recently. And it started really, I really like the beginning. Mm. And it's about a place that um, is just constantly winter mm. and everyone seems to be starving as well. And I think okay. the adults maybe have disappeared. So... Um, there's just these sort of kids, these brothers and sisters living together there. At the beginning, really they were, yeah, at the beginning, they were like eating cabbage soup because that's all they had that have left. That sounds good. Do you want to do the rest of the, the children's okay. books all together? Um, and, and then this one is actually blurbed by um, Karen, which says, Delightful, a joy of a book. And it's Pages and Co. Tilly and the Book Wonders by Anna James. So mm -hmm. Anna James has done some booktube videos before, and she's often like a guest on Eric's channel yeah. where yeah. they talk about awards together. Um, Charlotte had read this book and loved it, yeah. so I'm thinking it's going to be super magical. Yeah. Um, it's about it's very bookish, and it's about a little girl who discovers that she can bookwind and I think go into classic novels. Sounds good. So in a kind of ink you love that way, as well, don't you? I do. So yeah. I mean, ink art I think is well. This, I've only read the first two ink art I've got the third left, but I love the first ink art I think is just yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. That's that one. And then the other children's one I've got is Frost Heart by Jamie Littler, which I know Heather read and enjoyed. It's a new one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and I think it was like a Waterstones book of the month or something. Mm. And or they were definitely promoting it. And this was the group read for Believeathon. Oh, and it's on. another kind of we wintery <laughs> wintery mm. read as well. Um, yeah. it looks like a little bit younger maybe than the others. Oh, it's, got it's got like lots of it's cute. It is cute, yeah. isn't it? There's some crystals there. Yeah. So yeah, it does look cute. Lovely. Oh, but that's all of mine. Um, I've got some more edgier ones now. <laughs> okay. um, so I've got the collection by Nina Lager, Lager um, which is translated um, from French by Laura Francis. It's on Granta. It's got a great cover. So I kept getting drawn to it, but thinking because it's called the collection that it was short stories. And as soon as I found out it wasn't, I um, picked it up. Was this the one that was somewhere blurbed? Oh, yeah, Saskia Vogel, which Saskia made me Vogel, want to read yeah. it. I think it's a little bit edgy, erotic. The word because <laughs> it's translated <laughs> um and yeah i mentioned this one uh pursuit by joyce carol oates i just fancy reading another dark jco jco um weird jco weird old jco she's this is a, a novel from this year um i don't know what it's about should we have a look disquieting tale uh oh, it's about a child that she has this recurring nightmare and then it 
goes away and then later on in life, I think she's about to get married and these recurring nightmares start coming back to her. Sounds good. That sounds like a good winter read. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's it. That's the plan. That's it. Let us know if you've read any or ones we should get to first, Tell maybe. Us. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye.